Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the ASUS HD7770 DirectCU video card. And of course the DirectCU name is referring to the cooling solution implemented by ASUS. And this video card also supports Ifinity and has 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 and is um, sporting 1020 megahertz uh, core clock. And of course this is 20 megahertz more than the 1 gigahertz or 1000 megahertz core clock of the reference AMD video card. And let's see at the bottom you have the recommended system requirements list. You have the serial number. And at the back you have more promotional information and some more features listed in here. Of course there's PCIe 3.0 already, AMD HD 3D technology support, AMD Crossfire X support, and a detailed look at the Direct CU2 cooling implementation here on the left side, promising a 20% cooler uh, uh, cooling solution than the Radeon HD7770 referenced design. And of course, the GPU tweak utility is just a software overclocking and monitoring utility for your ASUS video cards. And here on the right, you have a an overview of what the connectors are. You have a full-size DVI, a full-size HDMI, and a pair of mini DisplayPort connectors and of course you can use up to uh, with this configuration you can have up to six monitors uh, using uh, and, uh, through Ifinity and uh, start opening up the HD7070 Direct CU box from the bottom see what the package uh, what kind of package we can find inside so just flip it open it's usually a smaller box it's a plain white box I'll flip it open and let's look at the accessory first. You have a crossfire cable. It's a two-way crossfire X cable. So one container. And you have a male DVI to female VGA adapter. Underneath should be some documentation. You have a quick installation guide in multiple languages. And this is the VGA driver and manual. So of course, we're uh, we are actually going to use this since the drivers are not available on AMD's website yet. So, um, well, maybe by the time we finish our review, the drivers, or maybe some of the drivers will be available through Asus website. So I recommend downloading those. And let's put the accessory aside and take a closer look at the graphics card itself. So the compartment, and anti-static packaging. And here we have the ASUS Radeon HD7770 completely out of the packaging. And first thing we notice is that um, it's not as big, of course, as the other video cards, especially the uh, high-end video cards, since this is a mainstream video card. After all, it, uh, the ASUS Radeon HD7770 DirectC video card measures 8.9 inches in length, 5.5 inches in width, and 1.6 inches tall. See that uh, it is a dual slot solution. And here in the rear, you can see at the top, Part is actually just dedicated to exhausting hot air, while you have a pair of mini display ports here on the left, an HDMI 1.4a port that supports, of course, AMD HD 3D technology, and you have a this DVI connector, and of course here the PCIe 3.0 connector, and you know, just a little bit of the aluminum block in there. But of course, to get a better look, you can see through there there is a single fan blowing into the aluminum fin array. In this aluminum fin array, there is a pair of these very thick heat pipes that uh, actually directly touching the core, so they call direct CU cooling. And uh, there, and then so the fan blows into the aluminum uh, fin array, distributing hot air all over, that just in the back, but also here in the front and to the sides as well. So make sure that you have adequate cooling into your into your case and good airflow, so that it can uh, all the hot air will be exited out and not uh, not uh, lower the overall ambient temperature inside your case. And also, see a Crossfire X connector in there, a single Crossfire X connector for up to two-way Crossfire X. And this is a unique feature in ASUS video cards. You see a metal uh, spine that's sending all the way, connected here at the rear bracket, all the way to the front. And of course, this prevents the PCB from warping over time since custom heat sinks usually tend to be heavier and uh, over time the traces can get degraded 
once uh, the PCB starts warping. So that's a very good implementation of a spine done by Asus on a direct CU video card there. And here I have the single uh, six pin PCIe power connector to power your uh, HD7770 video card. So make sure you have the appropriate power supply in use. And uh, that pretty much covers most of the some features. And what we should do is put in this Asus Radeon HD7770 Radio Guard into our test system and see how well it performs.